Hello everyone and I am Odi. Welcome you all in your own channel by Nord Academy. Today we are exploring fascinating concept of density. Why something floats and why other things sink? To so get ready and become a density expert by listening story Amazing Floating Adventure. Once upon a time in a cozy little kitchen lived two best friends Eggy the egg and Photo the potato they loved to chat about science and adventure one sunny morning they overheard about magical sea where everything floats they both wondered what makes this sea magical And while playing, Poto fell down in a glass of water. He went straight to the bottom. Oh no, I'm sinking. He cried, help, help. He was not able to come up so easy. But Eggy remembered one day, Odi told him about magical powder that is salt. It makes it magical and thing starts floating. He quickly added salt in water and do you know what happened? Poto started floating in water. As he floated on the top, he became happy and said, Yeah, I am swimming now. Eggy said, This is density change. The salt water is heavy to hold you than plain water. That's why you started floating. To understand it, you can do small experiment in the house and for that you need two glasses, water, small potato, a spoon and a magical powder that is salt. In one glass, pour water and add potato. Check whether it is floating or not, it will definitely sink. In another glass of water, add 6 to 8 tablespoon of salt, stir well to dissolve the salt and add potato to check. Now it's floating. This is because the density. So density is like how much stuff is packed inside. Imagine you have two balls of same size. One is full of air and other is full of sand. Which one feels heavier? The sandy ball. Even though they look same but the sand ball heavy because more stuff is packed inside in it. That's what density means. Water works in the same way. When we add salt in water, salt packs inside and makes the water more stronger and heavier. So it can hold and push the photo to float. One more experiment you can do that is layering experiment. For that you need a glass, honey, water, milk, liquid soap and cooking oil. In a glass, carefully pour each liquid. Starting with honey, milk, liquid soap, water, and oil in order. Pour slowly to avoid mixing. The liquid forms layer based on their density. Honey is heavy so it sinks at the bottom followed by milk, liquid soap, water and finally oil floating on the top and creating a colorful stack effect. Try this experiment at home with the help of an adult and share your results in the comment. Do you know some fun fact about the density? The Dead Sea is like a magic water. In a place called Dead Sea, there is so much salt in the water that people can actually float and read the books and newspaper. Interesting, right? Egg Freshness Test Fresh egg sinks but old eggs might float even in a plain water. This happens because the older eggs have more air inside them and making them lighter to float. 
Oil and water separation. When you mix oil and water, oil floats on water as it is less dense. This is why you see oil on the top of water in a separate layer. Ice is always floating on water. Ice floats because it is less dense than liquid water. That's why the icebergs do not sink. But what if you add ice in oil? Try this experiment and see your ice cube will definitely sink in oil. Wind flow. The warm air is rising and the cold air is sinking down due to the density difference. This causes wind to flow. Seed test. Farmers sometimes use salt water to test seeds. Seeds that float in salt water are often empty or unhealthy to use for farming purpose. Floating orange. An orange floats with its peel because the peel has tiny air pockets. But without peel, the orange sinks as it becomes denser than the water. Moral of our story is even a small change can make big difference. By adding just little salt to the water, change everything for Poto. Small change in life can lead to a big result. Stay curious and keep experimenting. Keep watching your own channel Why Not Academy. Like, share, subscribe, comment and see you soon in the next video.